good morning and uh, yep it's dark again you can see a little bit of the blue hour as we've got going on at the moment and we are well into the blue hour and I don't know if you can see down there or at least here but we are next to the sea we are at the seaside I've come to a location that I've wanted to come to for a very long time probably since when I started vlogging I've known I've seen other vloggers come here and other photographs of this place and uh, yeah, I've wanted to come here for a long time. I'm at Steetley Pier, which is near Hartlepool. Uh, we parked up on the road near a, looks like a building site really. A bit of waste ground, they're building new houses all along the front. So I've avoided sort of parking near the houses and upsetting folk at this time of the morning because it is only five o'clock. Sun rises at six and I can see the pier in front of me. We've got a bit of sea mist and we've got a little tiny bit of fog and I think I'm edging me bets along the lines of taking a shot from roughly where I am at the moment, getting the whole of the, the mystical sort of pier in, and uh, we're literally just making our way along. I'm actually out, say we, I'm not with anyone else other than the famous Mrs. C. Look at this, she is here. She's, she's out, walking away from the light, there you go. Oh. Look, there she is, Very and nice. we've got a new slinky version. Uh, Mrs. C's been on a bit of a diet and a bit of a fitness uh, <laughs> fitness rosine so wait until later on the light picks up and you'll see how slinky she looks and uh, raring to go so yeah we're away for four days and we're up on the Northumberland coast so that's what's coming up in the next few videos so to start with let's get on location let's get to this pier let's get on the beach and let's see what we can make of the first shot mystical 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 <laughs> gap for yeah it is, does, does look like a little gap We've got an anti-cycle gap here but we need to get onto the beach as well so I need to work out how to get down there so uh, bear with me I can't see with this light on you can see it's got an awful lot lighter now um, the sun's coming up over that side and I've made my way right up to the pier I'm quite close to it and you can see the famous Steetley Pier has got this big gap in it um, this is I don't know if it's why it's photographed but it's an abandoned pier obviously Mrs. C is way, way back down the beach. She's playing with her camera, getting herself familiar with the camera. Well, up here, now I've got really close to it. Uh, I did take a long shot, try and get a bit of a blue hour, but it wasn't great. But up here, you've got some wooden groins or leftovers of the wooden groins. Could have been an old pier, could have been a jetty or a pontoon. Uh, I've actually set my coat off because I'm really warm this morning. I can't believe it, half five, six o'clock, and I've got no coat on and I'm sweating. And there's also a photographer up on the bank, so I'm not the only one here. So I'm gonna try and get up nice and close, get the wide angle going, get these groins in the foreground, little tinge of color in the background, and then we should be on for a winner. So I've gone myself for a nice, simple, classic shot, leading lines from the left-hand side, I've got this big chunk of wood right in the bottom corner of the left and the pier and everything leading over to the right. And they've got this little tiny yellow glow right in the top corner. Nothing amazing, just a very, very basic one. But what I've made sure I did, and when you, when you look at this image, every single piece of wood is separated. Now it does mean I might have to move my tripod at two inches or two inches this way, but I've got every single piece of wood separated with sand in between. And that is very, very important when you're taking a shot like this. It really, really is. Shame the tide's not a bit higher, but I can get lower, but I just want to get that gap in the pier because that's what makes this place unique. What I do want to do is get the water movement. Mrs. C is making her way this way. So now I've got my clean shot of the beach. I'm going to try and move forward and get closer to the water, but this is where I get footprints obviously in the sand. So I'm keeping, keeping away from the groins a little bit just to try and get as close as I can so I can get the sea in because the sea is really important and still get that gap in the pier so I'm looking through my viewfinder why I'm moving up and trying to work out where it is I want to be and I almost want to be higher because I want to look down on the water to try and keep the water in the frame so I'm going to take my tripod up another leg another level I'm not actually looking into the sunset direction, but um, I'm getting a little bit of reflection now. That's really nice. I like that. Okay, so let's move a little bit closer. It's all about working out where I want to be, and then I'm going to have to try and get the, um, 
the colour in as well then. So I've got this little piece of marker point on my left. I've got the pier, I've got a leading line from a little stripe, a little stripe in the um, sand and then I've got the pier going off from left to right. Always the best direction to go left to right. So we're on one third of a second so I'm going to put a, a three stop on to slow it down a bit more because I just want that movement in the water and then I'm definitely, definitely going to get closer five seconds uh, with a three stop. So then I'm definitely going to get closer to get the water rushing around these groins and then I need to move over to the left if there's going to be any colour, I need to be on the other side of the pier. Here she is. Hello. <laughs> Here she is. She's been down the beach avoiding me and now she's come up a bit closer. I've got myself another shot set up. I've, I've just shooting from the gap in the pier now on the groins leading out, but I'm definitely going over the other side because the colour's on this side. Um, and you want to go at the top. Looking yeah. So do you want to say hi to your public? They've missed you. Oh, you know. <laughs> she don't care. I do. She doesn't. I've been busy. Busy, homely. Not cooking. Not cooking. You have been cooking. I have been cooking. But She's been no cooking goodies. healthy food and it's been really good. And I think I've, even I've noticed a little bit. You have bit. lost a few yeah. pounds. So yeah. She's back with us Ish. for a few days, folks. You'll get to see this lovely little face. The charm and the wit. <laughs> I'm gonna pinch your spot. Yeah, you pinch my spot. I'm gonna go over the other side. Strange, yeah, I'm gonna go over the other side. And there's another photographer turned up. That's a, that's a third one. So I'm just moving my way up towards the pier at the moment, and uh, I keep stopping and getting a shot with a big gap in it, and. Uh, the nice reflections and I've got the horizon bang on the centre at the moment and I'm just taking shots with and without the free stop on because it's giving me a slightly different look of the water you get a bit more movement in the water when you take it off and uh, the reflections are absolutely fantastic really are it's got this nice beautiful clean sand dead calm flat and you get these really great reflections of the pier shining down I really really like that I think it's better with a with a three stop on kind of feel that that seems to work better um, it just gives you that little bit more smoothness to everything really quite nice I'm glad I'm here eventually or finally should I say side of the pier and uh, the two photographers that are here weren't very talkative at all and they obviously didn't recognize me oh boohoo <laughs> um, yeah no it's a dev different look from this side of the pier and I'm not so sure whether I prefer the other side because it's got a bit of a knobble on the bottom but again I'm just looking at the reflections this side it's nice getting these reflections in and uh, again just nice filling my boots and there's that that little ear of mistiness that's that's out in the bottom there that's out in the distance and just getting the reflections and the nice soft 
softness as it drifts off into the distance and the horizon just the horizon line is just soft because it's sea mist or a little bit of fog that's out there the color is above us uh, sunrise is imminent it is right now um, but we're not getting it we're not getting color in front the color is above our heads uh, so this you know there's hope for tomorrow or the next day this is definitely the, the coast to be on for a sunrise so uh, we're always hopeful another couple of images and I'm gonna just get over to these other groins and see if we can make something with the groins blow the groins up in front these ones are further away from the other ones see if we can make something work with this one so let's see if I can um, can I give you some advice when we're at the seaside mm. excuse me I've got to drink my coffee as well it's the first one I've had this morning advice first of all tripod if you're going to use a tripod at the seaside if you're at the beach and you're on the sand especially sand get your tripod and ram it as far down into the sand as you can now i've got spikes on my tripod so it goes in quite deep but ram it in as far as you can because it will stop camera shake now i took an image over the other side just now and the tripod was slowly sinking in the sand i couldn't see it and i certainly couldn't feel it but it was slowly sinking in the sand and by sinking in the sand it was getting a little bit of a fuzz to the edges of the frame now, the other thing to do is always try and keep an eye on the tide where you're going you know where the tide's going in or out i made sure this morning the tide was going out not that it was a big choice um, but i did know the tide was going out i checked on my app so i checked the weather app the weather gave me what the weather was going to be this morning um, on me clear outside i then checked uh, the photo ephemeris that gave me the direction of the sun and stuff like that so i knew what the tide was doing where the tide was going also checked my tide up for hartley pool and i could see that the tide was going to be high tide later on and i'm, I'm in relative safety and i'm not going to get cut off and blocked uh, it's an area i don't know so again i tried to scope the areas i came down the beach this morning i was looking around trying to work out where i needed to be what i needed to do where my escape routes were where i could get away from the sea if i needed to and stuff like that so it's all pretty much up the bank morning all right it's all pretty much up the bank and uh, away from the sea if you need to get to the other thing to do is make sure your lenses are clean all the time because you're getting this spray coming in, even the finest of spray, make sure you're wiping your lenses and keeping an eye on them all the time. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a slightly fuzzy image. And the other thing to do, if you're shooting groins or anything like that, get that separation. Look and move the camera around slightly just to get that little bit of separation to try and get a gap or a space in between each groin or between each leg or between each post or anything, just to try and get that little bit of separation. It will make all the difference. So, a few little hints and tips for you. Keep them in mind, keep them in the back of your book and uh, it'll probably help your photography right mrs c's over the other side the colors sort of been and gone i've got a couple of really nice shots from this side a couple of really nice shots from the other side nice long exposures smoothed out water the groins the pier so i'm quite happy with that uh, definitely for my first ever visit the beach is just phenomenal have a look down here look look how look how clear this beach is down here let me just zoom you around come around this way look Look how clear that beach is down there. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. And these are the houses behind me here. These are the houses that get really sick of photographers. And I don't doubt for one moment it gets quite hectic with people parking cars outside because since we've been here, there's been like three photographers, including us. I mean, we're way down in waste area. We're nowhere near these houses, but um, yeah, I can understand people getting a bit upset by it, but. What an iconic place to come to. What a beautiful place. We've got groins to see, flat sand, two lots of groins even. We've got the sunrise location. We've got this amazing pier. Sorry to the folks in the houses, but this is a photographer's dream. <laughs> Just making my way back now to Mrs. Seethus. Seeing if I can find something a little bit different or a little bit more unique in a shot. There we go. Yeah, just trying to find something a little bit different in the sand or the patterns just that so i can make the most of it so i've got a nice reflection where i am at the moment a beautiful reflection with with the half pier which is quite nice so i'm just gonna have a little look at that see if that works um i'll leave it on bracket in for now but it's a really nice reflection from where i am and you get a, a glow of the, the sky in the bottom in the sand it's really quite reflective so I'm going to have a look at that and see if I can get that one to work. And then we're going to go back over to Mrs. C, see what she's up to. So I am just on my last couple of photos now. Um, I'm just looking at the ripples in the sand, the tide's gone out. 
uh, just been talking to the other photographer that was down there. He's a YouTuber as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I'm just, just trying to make the most of being here this morning. I don't need to rush off. I don't need to go anywhere. Um, I've got reflections still in these little puddles. But we've got these little puddles of water around. So I'm just sort of trying to sort of find something that gives me some sort of lines or something, a little bit of texture in the sand in the foreground. And this side of the beach is definitely more texturous than the other side. So I'm going to try a couple of these with the pier in the background and then uh, it's back to the van for breakfast, I think. But yeah, they're, they're different. It's a little bit different. Not sure they're a winner, though. <laughs> so I've taken one or two little handheld shots just to try and do something extra with my last few minutes before I go back to the van. I literally am just holding the camera down as low as I possibly can and uh, just looking to try and get something a little bit different. And uh, I've got a couple of quite interesting ones, you know, with the patterns, the patterns in the sand, and they look quite nice. You know, something a bit more abstract. I've got the pier in the top. I've got these nice lines leading you through. Handheld, it's quick enough. And I think I prefer these more than most of the others. With the wide angle lens, it just makes all the lines so extreme with this beautiful reflection I'm getting as well. It's, again, this one. This one, that, that last one was a really nice little shot. I'm not sure I can show you on the camera. Let me see if I can show you what it is I'm actually doing just before I go. But So what I'm doing is, let's spin you around. Let's get you as low as we can. And you can see these lines in the sand. So I'm getting these lines leading up with this little reflection and stuff like that. And you can imagine in a vertical orientation, uh, it looks pretty good. But yeah, I really, really like that. I like all these sandy lines and these textures and you can move, the, move around the beach getting down really, really low. And you can just have a look and see what you can find and see what leads where and what little lines. So yeah, don't be afraid to get down low on your hands and knees and uh, see if you can find something a bit different. And it is all about these little textures in the sand that not everybody, not everybody's gonna look at. Again, I've just found some more here and they're really, really nice. So I'm gonna take these and then I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go over and see Mrs. C and she can say goodbye. So I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Just taking my last shot, something a bit different, a bit wide. Uh, got the old Instagram phone shots and things like that. And now it's time to head back to the van. We've got uh, oh, sausage and black sausage, pudding. Sausage, bacon. Sausage, bacon and black pudding. We don't need to go mad. And egg. And egg. That's not going mad, I'm <laughs> leaving the beans. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go back and get some breakfast. Thanks for watching. I um, hope you've enjoyed Mrs. C being out, even though you didn't see much of her today. What, I'll, I'll get more of her next time. Too busy getting the winning shot. I was too busy. Yeah, you were too busy getting the winning shot. You always do. Uh, I'll put one of Denise's up or a couple of Denise's up as well. Yeah. Otherwise, you Mrs. C lovers will hate me if I don't do it. So till next time, ciao for now. Don't forget, get out. And this is a great, great place to come to. Very, very safe. Very, very open. Uh, if you're not sure on the beach and the sea, this is not a bad little place to come to. Uh, you've got the groins, you've got the sea, you've got the sky, you've got the beach, you've got patterns, you've got the pier, you've got everything here. And parking, you can actually park up there, but you will upset some of the neighbours. So yeah, till next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.